I'm Will Dragon and we are playing Civilization 6 as Canada. We are on Deer to Difficulty and we're still pretty much in the early areas of the game and we are starting to claw our way back into it a little bit. We're definitely not there yet. We definitely need to keep pushing things forward, but we are starting to claw things back a little bit. I have in between the episodes just gone and marked up the next city location. I'm pretty sure this is where we want to go. This will pretty much leave this half of the island free for me to come and put down another set of cities further into the game. But for now, we're going to go and put a city here. We've got places for our theater district and science district. We've also got quite a nice location here for an industrial district, which will help because there's not huge amounts of industry up here, but there's a little bit. And... That was, like I said, yeah, that'll help us keep moving forward. So that's our settler coming out in five turns time. And so then let's just keep moving everything forward. We have our builder here. Let's go ahead and put down another farm. Of course, building it in the tundra area does give us that massive bonus. And so with that, we get another plus four to food. Which I am tempted to say focus on food. If I do that, that puts that down to four turns. From seven. That does double. But what I'm going to do, so we're going to undo that. What I'm going to do... I am going to say lock in that one, lock in that one as well. And there you go. Yes, come off that one. Focus on this production tile. Because then I would only lose one food from that tile compared to that one. But I do gain the extra two production, which does make a fairly big difference. Let's go ahead and do that. And then let's hit next turn. We do have as well. Yeah, hello. We have some barbarian spearmen coming to say hello to us. We do have our vampire running down here as fast as his legs will carry him. As well as our scout coming down to say hello as well. Because yes, I do want to... Oh, looks like this uh, spearman is in fact just chasing this scout. I would love to get a few more kills on my vampire and keep the strength going up. I have an envoy. And with this envoy, we wanted to take control of Hunza. Let's go ahead and do that. Become suzerain. Get some beautiful aero score. And keep pushing forward. And that will allow us to hit a normal age. Now, so far, next turn, we have made it. So we at least won't end up in a dark age. So we've got a few more points to go. Barbarians do approach. Wonder has been completed. And we are their first suzerain, and that gives us a huge view over the map. Uh, I believe we were going to keep running in roughly this direction and see what we can see. Now, I don't think there's really anything else on this island to note, because I've noted that India has only, in fact, met Vietnam and myself. Vietnam's just met all of us. Maori have met a few more people, but they have been an ocean-going race since the beginning of the game. That's how they play. And so, for my last trick, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna see if I can sneak up through here without being in danger of a spearman. And let's get this honey online. Where's this spearman gonna go now? Is he gonna come forward or go backwards? Has grit enough to bring about the afforestation. He is in fact just going to stand there. Now I feel like I was supposed to jump off irrigation. And I was gonna try attempt to do it through the boost, but hey ho. Let's grab celestial navigation. That's only one turn. And then let's grab horseback riding. What I should do is build my quarries, to be fair. I think... Yeah, we'll go into the city center. We'll keep an eye on what this spearman does. And we've also just found an entree for my vampire, although my vampire really does need to heal. Unfortunately, they only really heal well by pillaging, which... 
Yeah, not really at war with anybody, so that's a little bit detrimental. I possibly shouldn't have gone vampires being Canada, because I do in fact want... <laughs> I do, in fact, want to get this all done peacefully, believe it or not. Oh, very nice. We can still keep going north. We'll definitely keep going up there. Yeah, so I do actually want to do this all peacefully, so maybe one of the other secret societies would, in fact, have been better. An eye on this spearman again. Unit needs orders. Uh, just, just keep coming down here, my friend. Oh, they have gone and taken that iron. I was hoping they'd maybe come this way first so I could grab that, but that's okay. So few people living in my empire. Well, thank you very much, Gandhi. Uh, they are spreading their religion. Oh, there. Your course by the stars. Having a little bit of a Barney. Come down this way. We might attempt to chase that scout and again get some lunch. Oh, up here we just have plenty of barbarians. Oh, he's just come back. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> That's not where my scout wants to go. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately... Uh, oh, fact, yeah, I should be able to... Wait, oh, hang on, wait here. No! No, I wanted to unclick them! I wanted to unclick them. Oh, it's so annoying how right click doesn't just undo things in this game. It makes sense because that's what you. But you just arg. Because uh, is this a hill? That is a hill. I would have been safe right then. You're gonna have to come and stand out here and defend him. Uh, shouldn't be death. No, we should be okay. Oh, that's such a pain in the ass. I will probably get attacked. I mean, that's that's just how it's gonna go. You want... Uh, no. <laughs> Go away, Gandhi. Get out of here. Oh, he's actually stepping down. So, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and... Improve that tile there. We're going to kind of stop him from getting further into our territory. Uh, I wasn't paying attention as to what happened with their scout. And you can come back down this way. Let's see what's down here. Oh, it looks like they might be attempting maybe to go for a co another coastal city. Uh, you just go and stand there and look pretty. My next settler is coming up here. Oh, <laughs> should be pretty safe. It's going to get there nice and fast because of this road that my trader's putting down. Like I said, it should be pretty safe. I mean, it's it's a pretty well... Well guarded area. Is that scout gonna come back? A man on a horse is spiritually as well as physically bigger. Okay, no. No news on the uh the scout, wherever he went. And so let's open technology. Let's grab masonry. We're basically gonna start grabbing back some of the things that we've potentially glossed over a little bit because we knew we were going to get the uh the eurekas for them pretty soon so we in fact used our time a little bit more efficiently okay he's jumped down into that corner that's fine you just come back up into the city You straight down. Daughters, let's keep exploring down here. Bring our scout down, see what's going on. Okay, he seems to just be hiding down here. History is the version of past events that people have decided to agree upon. 100% campus adjacency bonus. We're going to take out the settler card. And then we're actually going to plug in great writer points. Because I do want to 
Yeah, so we're unfortunately still going to be lagging behind. I do want to potentially be able to get up cultural tourism. Open technology tree. I'm going to plug a couple of turns into iron working. So we can immediately get that once we get our iron mine online. And then for our civics tree... Research the construction technology. Uh, which we will also get. I'm going to put a couple of turns into this. And I just need to remember to switch out governor titles. Pingala's all good. 20%. Plus 20% growth in your city. Your trade routes ending here provide plus two food to their starting city. Uh, do you know what? Sure. Go and grab that. Plus 20% growth. I will not complain at that. Magnus is here. And we are ready to chop out some forests to help us get campus. Ideally, yeah, I think I'd rather chop these two as opposed to these two. But uh, we'll see how it all goes. We're going to get our builder in seven turns. And let's keep coming down. There's probably not really going to be anything here, but let's just fill in the gaps as much as we can. Let's potentially go see what's happening with this barbarian camp. And there's, def there's definitely just a spearman hanging around down here. Okay, he has an attack of 20. Also has an attack of 20, but very injured. Ooh, we've just gone and thrown out that library. We're, we're okay on housing. We can probably wait a couple of turns on that. Let's look at getting out. Let's definitely place these whilst we can. Oh, there you go. That's the only one we can place, and it is the next one we wanted to place anyway. Am I going to be tempting to chop it out? Yes, I probably can take out this forest and help it along. Builder takes me 11 turns, costs me... Oh, I can afford a builder next turn, but I've also got a bit of stuff I need to do up here, so I might want my gold. But let's see. Does anybody want my stuff? Uh, five for 30 turns? Yeah, sure. How about my six iron? That's definitely not going to go to the Maori. Um, you'll give me 29. You'll give me a straight up 58, and you're far enough away for me to not worry about you. Wow. Accept that deal. Anybody want my diplomatic favor? Because I don't really care for it. 82 gold, I'll take that. And so with all of that gold, let's go and grab another builder. Have that one there in four turns, which is all good. We're going to have our commercial district in two turns, and it should be a glorious commercial district. And then we might even go ahead and grab another Builder, although in fact, no, I think I'm gonna go and grab ancient walls. Not gonna worry about the granary, although I probably should by that point because I will in fact be needing more housing. We're gonna have the granary first, then the ancient walls. Bonus resources improved by farms gain plus one food. Each. I don't think I've actually improved any farms. More to point though, I do actually need to bring my silk online. There's an underutilized resource right now. I do need to start throwing out a few more builders here and there. Let's have you come across. Okay, well there's our scout. Uh... Okay, and there goes our scout, so to say. I'm just going to go ahead and reinforce you there for a second. I'm in fact going to go and fortify you where you are. This guy is just chilling. I don't know if he's going to be regaining his health, but he's just chilling. He's having fun. It's okay down there. I just need to remember he's there so I don't get suddenly shocked at any certain point. Okay, and here's the end of this landmass. Just going to grab a builder here. I was going to come up here and chop this out. I will then get this silk online. 
And probably as well, probably want to go and chuck down a farm here. Don't think I'm going to be building anything there in terms of districts, etc. Let's go ahead and turn that into a farm as well. Let's found that city. Quebec has been born. And we do have our builder. We're going to go and get an iron mine online. Which means we are going to have to go and... Ooh, spend money I don't have on buying me a few tiles. You'll give me 14. I don't really want to deal with you, though. Uh, you'll give me 19 for the iron and the diplos. Uh, nobody wants me horses. Quebec City, let's just start you off with a very... Although, oh, let's... Can't actually place any of my districts, etc. I feel like science is potentially how I'm going with this game. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so have a monument. Have the usual. Your people settle too close. I will look elsewhere in the future. That gives me 30... Diplomatic, 60 diplomatic points I can attempt to sell. There's another three era score from a beautiful commercial district down in Ottawa. We're going to go and change up iron working and let's look straight into mathematics. Are about to basically go and be able to get, oh, 13. I'm going to go and drop that down one because I do actually need a tiny bit of gold now. So that I can go ahead and grab the iron mine. There you go. We're getting plus 42 per turn now. It's a beautiful amount of money. And commercial hub complete. Tech boosted. Wonder completed. Games and Recreation, we're going to go swap that out for Theology. Research the technology, sorry, research the construction technology. Research a technology tree. Construction, there it is, build a water mill. So do you know what, let's start plugging that in. And I should also get the boost off that, so hopefully I'll get be able to get that in closer to four turns. Let's go and plug in the water mill. We can get that boosted straight away. Quick look what all the barbarians do here. Again, I'm waiting for this guy to pop out of here. Okay, and he's got a spearman in the base still. His orders, let's just keep coming down. Go ahead and get our iron mine limit. online. I'm going to go and save my money because I need 130 in two turns. We can actually make it by two gold to spare. That is all going to work out beautifully. Go and get 54 production. That's eight turns off... Off the uh, theater square. We might actually get a few more turns off here as well. Yep, there are woods here. Once we knock that down, of course, this is making the Maori hate me more and more, which is dangerous because they are my neighbors and they are scary, quite frankly. I'm not supposed to have to be at war with someone else, do they? No, that's a shame. They have gone and denounced Vietnam, though, so I could actually end up at war with them before you, before you actually know it. City losing loyalty. Uh, by how much? 0 0.8. I can live with that. Need more amenities. We're going to get some more online. Need more housing in Halifax. Oh. Uh, okay, whoops. Would you look at that? That being the case, well, there's not really a lot else 
So if I say focus on production then. And do that for now. That took a couple of turns off the theater square. Scout coming down. You guys, yep, let's have you come across. And we'll put this maze online and then we'll get the copper. Oh, well, hello. Um, <laughs> get all the way back here. I would like to upgrade this guy to a swordsman. He's going to cost me 110 gold. I'm also going to have to build up my iron, although I'm getting four per turn, which is fantastic. Beautiful. There's my builder. Now I want to purchase that tile. Go ahead and get that campus down. And we're going to chop out these woods. And potentially these two woods as well. Although how I would love to be able to afford this as well. 85 gold. Not going to happen for a, a quick second. Although I could also remove this stone bonus, which would give me a nice bit of production. Oh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's... Oh, I'm actually not allowed to uh, wander through these guys quite yet. Hmm. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, and there goes what? Zanzibar, Nazca... Oh, Vietnam has declared war on India. An unmet city-state has been defeated. Our friendship has come to an end. Let's go and declare friendship. I don't really want her declaring war on me right now. Orders. Let's go ahead and build that farm. Let's pop up here and grab that copper mine. He cannot get to me, so I'm just going to stay there for a turn. Vampire is slowly coming back online. Getting a little bit closer, but still got some work to do for that one. Well, hello, what would you like? You'd like some iron? Uh, no. No. That would be... You would like some iron. That's also a no. Because that's bad for my health. Oh, wow, that, uh... That scout just died a glorious, glorious death. Ah, oh, I should have maybe tried to draw him back a little bit more. And I'm at City State has been defeated. I don't know if that was the same message that I simply didn't remove. <laughs> Volcano's about to go off. Yep, let's remove the woods. That is a theater district up and running. I will then get the silk online. And that should get my city back to being at least neutral in terms of happiness. We do need more housing, so we're going to go ahead and grab the granary. Oh. Oh, sorry, Mary. That took nine turns off. I think that's probably all we're actually going to have to do in terms of chopping for now. Let's come up and grab the honey as well. Oh, the land has flooded. And we enter the medieval era. Again, we just missed out on a heroic age once more. Time for recreation. Or sooner or later to find time for illness. Change policies. We just want to grab holy site adjacency. Not on that. We boosted that because we just went and finished our water mill down here. Oh, let's. Yeah, we do need the granary. I'm going to get the market before the ancient walls, though. And with the ancient walls. 
being researched. Let's go ahead and grab... I mean, most... Most of the places I've currently got going... Can't really grab... Oh, we could grab another district here, which would be the harbour. Yeah, I don't really need the industrial zone online yet. Having NITER, especially to be able to sell, would be pretty big. But no, let's finish off with mathematics. Get our dedication bonus. Which I think we're just going to go for the same one. Let's choose a civic. Just going to grab theology. Let's push up to feudalism. And let's place an envoy. Hmm, I mean, I'm not too fussed by candy on Nazca. I'm going to keep hold of them for now. Because I don't see there's any huge need to spend them. Um, I mean, I'm getting the base of these two. So yeah, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep hold of them. Secret Society advances. Ooh, get another vampire. That'll be fantastic. Worth upgrading before I go and grab that next vampire because they do join the strength of your strongest unit, which if I look at my available units so far, I feel like would be the swordsman for 35 strength or horseman with 36. Not really much difference in those two. Yep, I feel like that would be the way to go. I am going to go and upgrade this swordsman. I... Wait, hang on. Let me just double check. So I've got a builder here. It's going to bring the silk online. I do want to get a builder here to bring this silk online. And the citrus. My builder here is going to finish with the copper. My builder here is... Yep, coming up for the honey. I... Yep, don't think I need gold immediately for anything. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade. And then my swordsman and my vampire are going to do a little bit of hunting. First, we're going to come down here, I think. There he is. Just sit around. Uh, we're going to take one step backwards because we're too close. New City States Quest, train a swordsman. How about just... Yep, that'll work. <laughs> How about just buy a swordsman? Does that keep you happy? There you go, we've gone up to four with Hunza. What is that bonus, by the way? Your trade which generate plus one gold for every five tiles they travel. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Receive the cinnamon and cloves luxury resources that cannot be earned any other way in game. And provide six amenities each. That is not bad. Nazca lines, yep. Receive a relic every time you discover a new natural wonder. Earn 50% faith from all relics. Not bad, I'm not really going for it. Your districts on or next to coast or lake tiles provide plus two culture. That's actually quite nice. May attempt to uh, steal that guy. Because we have... I mean, these two would count towards it. It was coast or lake tiles, right? Eh, maybe not. My districts aren't really in the uh, coastal region, to be honest. Let's keep going forward. Let's get that online that brings our amenities up to bare minimum scratch and we are slowly pushing up with science and culture but we're still kind of struggling on the grand scheme of things uh you need to keep coming back around oh now let's go to Claire war on candy hello what's going on Of this religion, all players may condemn units of the chosen religion, and doing so grants them so much favor. Ooh, Catholicism. Um, and more grievances than other players generate hundred more grievances towards this player. Uh, sure. Do you know what? Let's choose my friend. Next. I'm not gonna put any effort into this. What did we get? An unwet player and Islam. Okay. 
Uh, Nasco is declared war on Candy. Now Madonna is declared war on Candy. Candy is declared war on Bat. True. Okay, so I guess Candy has just become part of yes, Gandhi. I just figured. Unit needs orders. Keep getting back out of here. Uh, so yes, we're going to bring you down here and you down here. We'll get that online. My scout. Come back down here and have another quick look-see in this direction. Without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. And Everything plus one movement for all speed. naval units. Very nice. Kill a unit with a spearman. Own two galleys. Build ancient walls. That will happen at some point. Own three archers. Why I didn't manage to do that one yet. Let's just have a quick look as well in terms of science. Uh, okay, we've managed to catch the Maori. We are quite a bit behind the other guys, mind you. And in terms of civics, uh, yep, we're just we're just trailing. We're just trailing, basically. We're trying to slowly catch, but uh, it's it's gonna be a gonna be a long one. That can disappear now. I think I selected. Right at the beginning, for it to um, not disappear as I build things, which is kind of annoying. So I do have to do my own tidying up. I mean, ugh, what a drag. Need orders. Uh, you can stay there for a turn. You're going to go and bring honey on light. Nice. Our cities are getting happier. Uh, join the war. I'm going to have to refuse that. Thank you very much for thinking of me. Oh, he's running. He is running. Don't you dare start trying to take out my campus or I will get very upset. Uh, okay. That's a hill. If I go there, not only does he lose me, shouldn't be able to get to me in one turn either. You then stand there and look pretty. You can... think we could do with a bit more food. A one one tile, that's a one one tile. That is a two tile. Oh, let's come down here and make this a farm. Where are you guys going, huh? He's running away. The They're coming into sight. Hello. We're going straight back here. Uh, you come to here. You basically go and kill them, because once... Yeah, let's just go and confirm. Vampires, I'm pretty sure. I know I looked these up quite a few times. Uh, just when units die in adjacent... Gains permanent combat strength from the units die in adjacent tiles. Beautiful. Always look at that. The mini strength has, in fact, gone up. Secondly... Ah, because we came to the medieval era, the base score has in fact gone up, which is fantastic. Went from 20 to 35, and of course then I should have a few bonuses. Halifax has just gone and thrown down the granary. We've got a bit more space for food. Let's have that amphitheater. And let's get rising hunger. We know the vampire in the capital. I kind of want... I don't know if I'm going to chuck a city in here. I think I'm going to go and chuck a... No, we won't be able to put it on the thermal fissure. Let's just go double check this one very quickly. Vampire Castle. 
Can be built on deserts. Can be built on anything that's got flat or got hills. So the geothermal we won't be able to build on top of, which is a shame because it's a beautiful site. Question is, can I do something? I don't know if this is technically going to show me properly. That's a fort. Uh, do we have a vampire castle in here anywhere? Vampire castle. I mean, it doesn't say no, but I'm still a little bit dubious. Because that would... Don't know if I can technically remove stuff from tiles whilst trying to build it. Because, I mean, yeah, when the geothermal is, this would be fantastic. That would get me all of this production and food in my capital. A very nice little spot. To be fair, where he's standing isn't bad either. I mean, that's quite a lot of food and a fair bit of production. I mean, up here is mostly desert, so let's not really worry about that. Potentially here, for our very, very pretty looking vampire castle. Like I said, that gets me all of this food, which is a fair old whack and a decent bit of production. Um, yeah, there's not too much down here. So one of those two spots, I would say... I think I actually do quite like the one back here a little bit more. So we're going to go and say Vampire. He's come to here. Now, of course, we have our lovely road to be used, which is fantastic. We also have another Envoy. We now have two. Um, yeah, I wasn't too worried about that one. But now to get Simon and Cloves is quite nice. And... Potentially taking them away from Gandhi is just funny. Did I just manage to do that? I did. I've just gone and taken them off Gandhi. So they've now uh, left the war. Poor old Gandhi. Uh, I mean, where are these guys? There's Candy. Ah, here they are, Zanzibar. So they're no longer in the war. Causing problems. Barbarians approach. Yep, that was fine. We've killed them. Let's end my turn. These guys, yep, have continued to pop over the horizon. That's fine. Get these guys coming back. That would be a uh, bad idea. You're going to go and build a farm. You are no longer stealable. Done. Maybe that wasn't the best place to build a farm. Didn't really get me much, but... It also stopped me from losing my builder and got me something because it was him being a pain in the ass on the corner. So these guys uh, really want to start spreading their religion to me. As long as it's a decent religion, then I uh, suppose I don't mind too much. Nice, and let's get the market. We'll get another trade route. Uh, you stand there and look pretty. Unit needs... Orders. Coming up. Oh, spreading that Buddhism. He has just stepped away. He's gone to tell all of his friends that we exist. And let's at least go and place our commercial hub, even if we don't start building it, as that will lock in its price. And then, you know what, let's grab another archer. Increases our military score a bit, which is not actually looking too bad anymore. And up here, having just completed our monument, we could start to look at... I didn't stop my current research, then be able to get ancient walls. Um... May as well just stop it now. It's not pushing me to not get anything. I mean, machinery, I want to get three archers first anyway. Go and get apprenticeships. I can place my industrial district. But for here, for now, I'm going to go and place my theater square. 
And that is unfortunately 25 turns off, so... I feel like there's a triple chop coming up right here. How are we doing on money? We could do with a little bit more. So we'll uh, keep that going up. Unit needs orders. Yes. Yeah, they very much do. You're going to have to simply wait there a turn. you into the city let's can't use our scout for what he's built for a little bit of exploration oh hello skirmish is back oh and there's our swordsman let's drop back And with feudalism, we're all apprentices in a craft. In democracy, it's your vote that counts. But any class many arranged units that votes. I'm happy with what we've got. Get some. Experience points shared around. Get the vampire to eat them. And then choose my research. Let's go and... Allows all land units to embark. Let's go ahead and grab that. We're not going to be building two galleys anytime soon. And then here, let's go ahead and push... Grow a single city to ten population. That does allow alliances. Yes, we'll push Medieval Fairs and get the Governor title. Not really much of the rest. Jumps out at me if I'm honest. Uh, who are we looking at? My Scout. Come back to the city and fortify. Let's get you your health back. Major victory. Basically aiming to use my swordsman first because it's easier to heal him. Oh, hello. What exactly do you think you're trying to do? Oh, I can upgrade to a man at arms. Sold. Go and fortify you. He can attack me if he wants gonna take even more damage hello I cannot imagine any condition with knowledge of machinery has been boosted I'm up to there I assume I should be able to start shooting you stay fortified you also fortify and uh, oh we've got a crossbowman down here he could be a bit of a trouble be a lot of trouble in fact to see how he goes open the tech tree engineer should get finished soon let's push forward and grab stirrups pasture improvements to plus one food the not a huge boost but a nice little bit of extra for for the few things i have oh the maori are building up their military strength and on that ladies and gentlemen can we go and build? No, we cannot. Cannot go and build our vampire castle. I'm not 100% sure why. Oh yeah, we can. It's right here. And so that gets us 
16 food, 9 production, and 1 gold, which I believe all gets given to my capital. Let's see if I can get these numbers to update. There you go. Absolutely beautiful. There's my first vampire castle. And so in terms of simply great... Uh, imagine if you could put one next to it and it would actually add all of the bonuses from the vampire castle to itself as well. Because technically... I don't know, that seems a bit dodgy, but technically, why wouldn't it work? Look at that, his strength goes up with my strongest units, that is amazing. That puts him at the strength of my men-at-arms, which is really good. But as I was about to say, with that, we are going to end the episode, ladies and gentlemen. We have just gotten down a vampire castle. It is providing ridiculous bonuses to our capital. And so until we see you again,